Hi, myself Bullard Devanandra, working as associate professor in the department of CSC, MLR Institute of Technology, Hyderabad. Today's topic is type equivalents. The overview of the presentation, type equivalents and cycles in type representation and type conversion. Type equivalents. It is often need to check whether two types are equivalent or not. Here, S is a type expression, T is a type expression. We have to check these two type expressions are equal or not. This can be done by using two types, name equivalence and structural equivalence. So, we have two categories of type equivalences. One is name equivalence, another is structural equivalent. Two types are name equivalent. First one is name equivalent. Two types are name equivalent if they have same name or label. For example, type def int value, type def int total. These are the two types, new types, new types. Value and total are new types. So that where one, where two are variables of type value, where three, where four are variables of type total. So that where one, where two are name equivalent because where one and where two of type value. So where one, where two having the same type name value. Like that where three, where four are same because where 3, where 4 are type total, same name. Where 3, where 4 are equivalent, where 1, where 2 are equivalent. But where 1, where 4 are not equivalent because where 1 is of type value, where 4 is of type total. Variables where 1 and where 4 are not name equivalent as their names, type names are different. So, that is about uh, name equivalent. Next, structural equivalent. Here we are going to check the uh, structure of the type and we are going to determine equivalence by checking whether they have same structure, same uh, constructor applied to structural equivalent types. We are going to check the structure of the types. For example, we take uh, struct point. int x, int y and another struct point coordinates int x, int y and the instances struct point P struct point coordinates coordinates C. Here point struct point having two fields, the structure point having two fields x and y of type integer. Struct coordinates having two fields x and y having same type integer. Here P and C are equivalent, structurally equivalent because their structure is same. So, struct point and struct coordinators are considered equivalent because they have same structure even though they have different names. See, point and coordinators are different names even though they are equivalent because the structure of the uh, expressions are same. And another example, types array i1 comma t1 array i2 comma t2 are structurally equivalent if i1 i2 are equal and t1 t2 are structurally equivalent. Next, directed acyclic graph representation of the type expression. Here type expressions can be represented by DAG, directed acyclic graph or a tree. For example, if you take this type expression, record of length into integer into word into array of 10 characters. Here length is of type integer, word is a array of 10 characters. So, this is the total type expression can be represented by using the tree or directed acyclic graph, where each node represent a type or type, type construct. Here record is a type construct. The root node of the uh, tree is record. See, length is 
the type expression length into integer length into integer is represented by this this internal nodes this each node representing a type expression length into integer is a type expression like that word into array array is 10 characters array is 10 characters array of 10 characters is a type expression word is array of 10 characters this node represent word into array of 10 characters then record record is length into integer into word into array of 10 characters like that we can represent type any type expression by using cycle in by using tree or directed acyclic graph then some languages allow types to be defined in a cycle fashion see struct li list having value val as an integer and pointer next is a pointer to struct list here he, next is a pointer to list there is a node for example value val then value is integer then next is a pointer to list of type struct so that here the next is a pointer to list of type struct then this pointer pointing to list of this is cycle this is represented with this uh, uh, acyclic representation or cyclic representation see this val is integer that is val into integer val into integer and next is a pointer to list of structure next is a pointer what is the pointer is of type list pointer n next is a pointer of type list so pointer is a list so next is pointer of list then list is record record having two fields val and next is a pointer to list otherwise we can show in cycle fashion everything is same this pointer pointing to list this list this pointer is pointing to list so this is a cycle representation cycles in type representation next most programming languages including c uses a cyclic one a cyclic one this is this type a cyclic ones then type names are to be declared before using it except pointers for example uh, well value variable 1 variable 1 is a of type value and uh, variable 1 is declared after that type def int value this is not allowed type def should be comes before declaration so type names must be declared before using it accepting pointers pointers will be accepted then name of the structure is also part of the type equivalence test stop when equivalence test stops when a structure is reached that means the structure is reached when we reach the leaves leaves of the tree for example this is var1 var2 having tree structure when you reach end of leaves of the tree there we can get the structure any type type expressions are equivalent if they point to same structure name otherwise non equivalent then type conversion refers to local modification of type for a variable or sub expression see uh, a plus b a is a type integer b is a type real or float see this will not be this will a type error because two operands types are different integer need 4 bytes and float need 6 bytes that's why we need to convert this integer to float locally so that is done implicitly or explicitly implicit conversion is called co type coercion type coercion see 
x is of type integer, y is of type float. So, that y is equals to float of x. Here, we are explicitly converting integer variable to float divided by 14. Next, x is of type integer, y is of type float, then y is equals to x by 14. This is implicit type conversion. So, type conversion is converting type from one type to another type. Modifying integer variable to real will require more space. See, if you want to convert to float, we need 6 bytes. So, to treat integer operand, real operand locally perform the operation. So, we, locally we can perform the operation conversion that is integer to float. Thank you.